Trump Organization pursued a Moscow Trump Tower during election. President Donald Trump's company was pursuing plans to build a Trump Tower in Moscow well into his presidential campaign, Trump's attorney confirmed to CNN Monday. Previous reports have indicated that efforts to build a Trump Tower in Moscow were underway during the presidential campaign in 2015, but it had not been reported that those efforts continued into 2016. The Trump Moscow proposal was simply one of many development opportunities that the Trump Organization considered and ultimately rejected, the attorney, Michael Cohen, said in a written statement. In late January 2016, I abandoned the Moscow proposal because I lost confidence that the prospective licensee would be able to obtain the real estate, financing, and government approvals necessary to bring the proposal to fruition, he added. It was a building proposal that did not succeed and nothing more. The Washington Post, citing several people familiar with the proposal and new records reviewed by Trump Organization lawyers, first reported that the project involving Russian-born developer Felix Satter ultimately failed in January 2016. The Post said that Satter urged Trump to come to Moscow to tout the proposal and suggested he could get Russian President Vladimir Putin to say great things about Trump. According to the Post, in a November 2015 email to Cohen, who at the time was executive vice president of the Trump Organization, Satter also said that he and Trump Organization leaders would soon be celebrating the real estate project and Trump's election. Trump didn't go to Moscow and though his company signed a letter of intent, the project was abandoned at the end of January 2016, just before the beginning of the presidential primaries, according to the Post. The Trump Organization has signed similar letters in the past, pursuing deals in Russia and elsewhere only to see those efforts fall through in the initial stages. Trump's involvement and awareness of the negotiations cited by the Post remains unclear and there is no public record that Trump has ever spoken about the effort to build a Trump Tower in 2015 and 2016, according to the report. However, Trump has spoken out in news interviews and in sworn depositions about his previous efforts to develop properties in Russia, which date back decades, raising the market there as ripe for investment. There are conflicting accounts as to why plans for the Moscow Trump Tower were ultimately scrapped and the details surrounding the reported deal seem to contradict Trump's vehement denials of any such business connections in the past. Trump denied having any business interests in Russia in July 2016, tweeting, For the record, I have zero investments in Russia. He then reiterated that point again at a news conference the following day telling reporters I have nothing to do with Russia. But his interest in developing a project in Russia has been well documented, and Trump himself said he wanted to build a Trump property in Moscow at the Miss Universe pageant in 2013. People briefed on the Moscow Trump Tower project told The Washington Post that discussions began in earnest in September 2015. The Post said that an unidentified investor planned to build the project and, under a licensing agreement, put Trump's name on it. Other reports have detailed similar efforts between Trump and Erzag Alarov, an Azerbaijani Russian oligarch close to Putin. New details about Trump's business deals also come as federal investigators have seized on Trump and his associates' financial ties to Russia as one of the most fertile avenues for moving their probe forward, people familiar with the investigation told CNN earlier this month.